Uh, all right, here's Judge Janine. Let's do Judge Janine a couple a little bit because she's she's losing it. She got reprimanded, I think, for showing up drunk on her on her show. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe that she was encouraged for the best ratings that she got. <laughs> uh, Doing a Fox News show drunk? <laughs> how how could you? Here's Judge Janine. She is really in on the whole Wuhan virus thing. And the, my favorite part, just listen to this. Your models are out of control. The economy is out of control. Wait, is this clip number seven? Uh oh. Yes, I believe okay. it is. All right, guys. China is the one that's out of control. We're not going to let you destroy this country or our way of life. We've worked too hard and we fought too long to lose it to a Wuhan. That's what I said, a Wuhan virus that China knew about, openly lied about, said it couldn't be transmitted from human to human, and intentionally protected Chinese citizens from the virus, but allowed that virus to be released, putting the rest of the world at risk. You want to control people? You politicians want to flex your muscles? Well, start working on how you're going to punish, ostracize, alienate, and financially sanction and make China accountable for what they did to us and the rest of the world. But keep your damn hands off us and do something about what got us into this mess in the first place. I mean, oh boy, this whole China, it's just, there was another clip I saw of her where she said, you know, the Wuhan virus or whatever they call COVID-19, whatever that's supposed to mean. Like that's the weird thing to refer to it. Oh, so really? the idea is that we should be, I guess, I don't know, bombing China now. Well, uh, it's very concerning because obviously it's hilarious how drunk and pissed off she is in this video. But I do worry that a dying empire with nothing left but hard power and an unpredictable leader might be inclined to start a war with China. And this feels like uh, they're trying to keep that option open. I've got a hotel that's opening up there, so that will not be happening. Like I that mean, would be the only reason or that oh. and like China exercising an enormous amount of restraint, just like Iran did. I mean, I think like this is the thing about the Biden ad that could have been, you know, I, I personally think it's sort of a, you know, a bank shot off a bank shot off a bank shot. But the idea that he didn't he dropped the ball in terms of uh, assessing what was happening in China because he wanted to make sure that his trade deal uh, was OK. I think that's true. But that just seems to be like fourth order fifth order uh, relevance. And I don't know if it's just to confuse the message, like when Janine Pirro says this stuff, I don't know. I don't know what the theory could possibly be behind that. But uh, it was also executed poorly. Yeah. Here's another clip from uh, Judge Janine. She is mad, man. She is mad because, you know, Judge Janine living in Westchester, she's for the people. Don't you know that? You knew that, Jamie, right? Of course. Did you see her at the uh, DSA uh, Brooklyn North meeting? She would come in. She was just like on loan from the Westchester run. Oh, yeah. Every single month. Here she is. Um, she, she's pit. I, this could be a function of like, and I felt this certainly like I wanted to day drink many, many times uh, over the past couple of weeks. But, you know, I'm in the middle of doing my show. Maybe this is what uh, she's pissed about. This is clip number eight sheltered in their homes who've been patiently watching this unfold have seen the data and the facts change from day to day. First, there were 2.2 million who were supposed to die in the United States, and then it was a million, then it was 500,000, then 250,000. And supposedly, mitigation was already taken into account in those numbers. But the models, folks, are just plain wrong. And today, a potentially lower death rate and we understand there are still many sick and dying, and density and hot spots are to be treated differently. But what about the rest of us? We want to go back to work, feed our families. 
And as the governors sit there and pontificate, we are the ones experiencing the reality that for every percentage drop in employment, there are five to 10,000 deaths occurring. Depression, suicide, domestic violence, child abuse, resurgence of alcoholism, drug addiction, loss of hope, battered women locked at home with their abusers, abused children not being identified or protected because they cannot go to school. I'll wear my mask, my gloves, and I'll keep my distance, and I'll do the testing whether to determine if I have COVID or whether I have the antibody. But don't you even think about tracing or tracking or giving me a card. It ain't happening. I mean, this is just such nonsense. First of all, we, I love the fact that she is showing such solidarity. <clears throat> but the fact is, there is no testing. There is not enough testing that we can test. And the idea that they're upset that more people haven't died, we have over 40,000 people who have died in the course of a little bit more than a month. And that is with all of these mitigating things that we have done. Now, people can do the math, but if we go back to living like we were before, 40,000 a month is what you will get. At least that's close to a million a year. There, I mean, we can go out and we can practice a, a, a lot safer in going about our day. And maybe we can knock it down to, you know, 20,000 a month, 10,000 a month. You're still talking about over 100,000 people. When they talk about the 60,000 number, they're, they're just assuming that somehow it ends in, in the fall. And I think they're, I mean, it's, I, I still, it's, I'm just amazed that there is a project that exists with the president and these cronies at Fox to get people to be angry as if people aren't just sort of like angry enough in general to get them to be angry at the moves to mitigate this. Well, I, it might work is the scary part. Well, it might work to do what though? Like it's not, it's not a long-term solution. Like, I don't know what it is. Like they've got a hope that the pressure they're creating is not actually going to bring about action because if it does, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. Like the politics of it. I feel like Trump is doing better than the Democrats, which is a low bar, but you know, a lot of people are so used to expecting absolutely nothing. They got that $1,200 check with his name on it, just like you predicted. And they're like, well, you know, maybe he's doing all right. Yeah, I think that, I think, I mean, I, I, mean, I think over time that opinion's going to change. All right, let's take one phone call and then we got to get out of here. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. Wish we had more time.